Okay, I do not claim to be a Scrivener expert by any means, but I do know that I have found the export um, to ebook to EPUB to be very easy to use once you've figured out all the rest of it. So I grabbed some text from another book um, and just loaded it in here so that I would have text just for the purpose of this demonstration. And I'm going to show you the step that you take. Okay, so you've got your book, you've got it divided into sections, you're good to go. You're going to click on this little button right here, compile. So this is cool. It'll allow you to compile in all kinds of different things. It'll help you set up the formatting and all these different things. But if you're if you're formatting your um, ebook, you're going to want to make sure that you are having it set up for whatever you want. Now, an EPUB, even though um, Kindle is Mobi, I have found EPUB is accepted by everyone. I generally just do the EPUB if I'm going to be doing it multiple places, but you know, you can also do Mobi if you're just doing to Kindle. Why not? Now, this is one of the reasons why I think that it's um, super, super easy because you can click what you want and what you don't want in there. So say that you've decided that you're not going to include these things in your ebook. Okay, and you just want these things. So we're going to include from here down and we want to make sure because we've set it up by chapters. So we want to make sure that there's a page break in between each of these things so that it renders properly on it. Okay, and then you hit compile. Then you're going to tell you, tell it where to go, export it, wait for it to export, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, and boom, you have a, a, a Mobi file saved in the folder that you told it to go to. Then you can hop on over to KDP. You go in here, you upload your ebook manuscript. Once it's uploaded, you can click on the previewer and you can make sure that it looks good. If you see anything that's weird, say there's a page break where there's not supposed to be or you left out one of the chapters you want, you can go back in and grab all of that stuff. But it's fairly simple. It works fairly well. Um, you know, just for the just for the sake of fun, let's see what just happened when we did that. Uh, we've got our Mobi file right there. We're gonna let it upload. I'm gonna pause this while it's uploading because this can take a little while. Okay, now before I hit previewer, just remember I didn't format this at all. I just grabbed some text and showed you how I would convert it using Scrivener. So if it doesn't look nice, that's because the text wasn't formatted properly. Um, you know, I didn't, I didn't take much time to do that. So let's see what happened. Um, also keep in mind that fancy fonts, like you may have noticed I had a fancy font on the header, those don't generally um, come to Mobi. So they will in EPUB, and EPUB will hold them, but when it converts to the Mobi for the Kindle, a lot of times it converts them to plainer fonts. You want to make sure when you're um, preparing your book for that that you that you keep that in mind, that you want to use simple fonts, you want to make sure that they're not too large, and you want to keep it as simple as possible. One thing about Scrivener that I don't like in general, it's great for laying out and planning your book and writing your book, but it is not a great tool for formatting your book because it's just not meant to be a book formatting tool. So, um, you know, there aren't as many options when it comes into, or there may be the options, but it's, I haven't figured it all out on how to make, how to prepare your book and make it look nice for print publication. So see, um, it made a, it made a table of contents, a link table of contents for me. Um, and, and the, the, you know, like I said, I hadn't formatted the, uh, I hadn't even edited the text yet, so it's just text that I grabbed in here. And it was in the order of what I had it in here, but there we go. This is the first chapter that I had set up, um, Marsha and her girls. You notice that the font is not the same, but it's formatted just like I had it formatted inside of Scrivener. There it is. 
see the font didn't come over and that font is way too big that's obnoxiously large on the Kindle so you're going to want to bring down your fonts to between like 18 and 22 um, for headers or otherwise they look like this craziness um, but yeah it looks just like I had it set up in that document let's see page break right where I want it so so easy to use Scrivener to convert not so easy to use it to format and make it look pretty but uh, what you can do is do that in Word, import it into Scrivener, and then use the, um, the EPUB or Mobi um, conversion thing afterwards. Okay, that's it.